All right, strength training workout for men and women over the age of the 50 to help you build muscle. Before we hop into that topic today, go down below and click that subscribe button and click that little gray bell right next to it so that way you can be up to date with all the great content that we bring out specifically for you based off your comments and questions in the comment section. Today I'm gonna to go into a topic of how to build muscle with very limited, limited equipment for men and women over 50 and 60. All right, so uh, a lot of times it can be challenging to find the right workout for you. Um, these, are, these are compound movements that are gonna help you build muscle so you don't have to spend time uh, trying to find the right one, workout for you. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna do today, it's a stability ball leg curl. This exercise is great for your core, great for your hamstrings and your glutes. It's the first exercise that we're gonna do and we're gonna do 10 to 12 repetitions. What you're gonna do is you have your feet centered on the ball. You're gonna have your hands down at your side. You're gonna drive your hips up first, curl in, back, and then down. Drive those hips back up, curl in, and then back down and repeat. You're gonna do 10 to 12 repetitions, and then we're gonna move on to a dumbbell squat. Dumbbell squat is gonna work those quads and those glutes. Um, we're gonna gra grab a weight, and you're gonna bring it up in front of you, hold it close to your chest. You're gonna turn your uh, toes out. Okay, you're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale. Wanna fill our stomach up with air so it protects that low back. Deep breath in. And exhale. All right. You're gonna do 10 to 12 repetitions. Now, for the squat, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have good form first, but you wanna pick a weight where you're keeping tension on those quads and also where you couldn't do 15 reps or you couldn't do eight reps. You wanna pick a weight where you're failing right in that sweet spot. So make sure that you pay attention to that. You're gonna do this circuit for three rounds. Rest anywhere from 60 seconds to 120 seconds. You wanna be able to make sure you give that max effort. So that's why you're taking a little bit of those rest cycles. Next exercise we're gonna do is a reverse lunge. You're gonna keep those shoulders tall. You're gonna step back and then back to center, over to the other side. If you wanna increase the intensity, you can add a pair of dumbbells and you're gonna to wanna to do 10 to 12 repetitions of that also. And then as soon after you've rested up, you'll grab your dumbbells, have a seat on the bench, lie back on the bench, elbows tucked uh, tuck slightly, edge of the dumbbell, edge of the shoulder, driving straight up. Deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna go for 10 to 12 repetitions. Make sure you're using good tempo here. Lower on a count of three, up on one. Tension is where muscle is built. So that's why you wanna have that control. You're gonna go back and forth between these two exercises for three rounds and picking that weight that is going to challenge you uh, to fail in that rep range. All right, now we're gonna move into the final circuit. First exercise we're gonna do is a single leg RDL, working the hamstring and the glutes. So a slight bend in that knee, drive that hip back again. Nice stretch in the hamstring, pulling that hip back through. If you wanna increase the intensity of the exercise and your balance is going well, you'll hold on to a dumbbell, drive the, whoop, just reset. If you lose your balance, just reset. Then you're gonna drive that hip back, Nice stretch in that hamstring, pulling that hip back through. And then the last one we're gonna do for the day is our dumbbell row. Feet shoulder width apart, backs nice and flat, heads in a neutral position, tight grip, pulling all the way back up, down under control. Switching over to the other arm and repeat. All right, we're gonna do three rounds of this, going back and forth between each exercise. 10 to 12 repetitions. Let me know down in the comment section how you benefited from this workout. Uh, like always, make sure you hit that like button and you guys have a great day. And who am I? I'm Brian Stecker. I'm a 
20 year Air Force veteran, also been a personal trainer here uh, for the past 16 years and have a gym here in Vancouver, Washington, where we transform the lives of clients over 40, 50 and 60, the name of Boomer Fitness.